this is Kelly from Crafty Kelly's at www.craftykelly.co.uk Today I'm going to bring you this fun and quick card I'm using Celebrations Stamp Set um, Epic Celebration um, I also am going to be using the stamp Stamping Up the Brushos Crystals which I absolutely love they're brilliant fun and actually you can do so much for them but we're going to do this quick um, quick card with it today and I'll show you how I created this not too over the top speckly um, background so I started off with actually stamping my image and I'm going to use the uh, basic archival black sure that I've got it nicely covered. I'm using watercolour paper uh, for this so that the ink crystals kind of absorb and spread better. And sentiment at the top. rocked it slightly you will fab that'll do so now what I did is I got a baby wipe any brand will do I laid my baby wipe I've got this is a like a plastic mat I have over my wooden table so I don't get ink everywhere but I laid my a baby wipe down Gave it an extra sprig of water. Sprig of water onto my cardstock. We'll just let that soak in a little. Then with my crystals, um, let's start with the yellow. So. You can use a thumbtack or to um, keep the crystals in. A couple of points that I will share now. Do not open them like at the side here and get the pot out because the crystals, they go everywhere. Um, I used, used um, my pokey tool and stabbed a hole right in the middle of it. And that should give me just enough to come through. See, it's coming through. I think I started on the other corner. So I've got plenty on there. Um, you can put a thumbtack in there to to hold your crystals in, or I don't know. I'm using washi tape because I don't have any tacks. So I've got plenty of washi tape. And we're just gonna. I'm just gonna add a bit of all of the colours. But it does go everywhere. When I did this the other day, I got absolutely covered. It was great fun, and I didn't mind it, but <laughs> I did get absolutely covered. Last colour. It's quite a fine um, dust, so sometimes you think it's not coming out, and it is. So I'm just going to give this a little spray, and then I'm going to take my cardstock and just place it on top. And hold it there for a couple of seconds. Give it a little rub. And there we go. And if you want to, you can go back in and rub in some more colour. 
it does get a little bit messy so now what you've got to do is let that dry and obviously with this you can do loads of cards um, you can use this like I just there I'll just get a bit of scrap and wipe that across your card stock let me see if I've got a little bit of white card stock I'll just use the back of this so you can just come across your card stock with it create your rainbow and if you want move your bit of and then you've created a whole completely different type of look just using a baby wipe and the ink crystals I just think it's really fun so that's just this is just like one way you can use these crystals to create backgrounds let me wait for this to dry and we'll be back in a sec okay so the other thing that you can do which is optional let me just bring my chair in um, is you can actually use these to paint with um, so I've just got a little uh, little palette here and literally just knocking some of the crystals into it and with my aqua painter I'm gonna get a little bit of water in there not too much don't want it too watery there we go and if you want to create detail in one place like for instance the trainers I just want to make the trainers a little bit more red I can actually just take off some of the paint water I can actually just come in and paint that one area I want to. Sorry if my head's in the way. And it doesn't have to be particularly neat because you're doing watercolouring. And then I've just like picked out a key detail, like I could come back in on this one and paint that red. So there you go, you can see that I've just kind of picked out and I can water paint and colour with this. Um, the other piece that I quickly showed you, so I just went over it again a couple of times with the baby wipes and once again I can come in with another colour. So we'll just let those dry and then I shall mount it on the back of some, uh, a cardstock. So I've just popped it onto a, a base um, which I used delightful daffodil um, this is ter tempting turquoise so you can pick out any color that you'd like from from it to, to add a, a a base but it's so quick and easy you can do multiples and then let them all dry and then do all the bases together um, it's really good fun I haven't mounted this one because um, it was just something to play with but I hope you've enjoyed doing this quick and easy card with me um, a bit of fun with brushos like I said, you can paint with them, so you can use them as an ink to paint with, or you can create these fun backgrounds. This is just one way to do it. Anyway, if you'd like to 
get any of the supplies that I feature today, please find me on the Stamping Up Demonstrator website. I'm Kelly Jordan or Crafty Kelly. Swigging my tea. Um, or you can go to my blog at www.craftykelly.co.uk and find out more there. Okay, thanks very much now. Bye.